Hey y'all, this is Kirk, the owner of Wellspring Landscape Services, and I stopped by to check on a client's lawn today uh, because they're out of town, and we like to do that for some of our clients while they're out, and want to make sure that uh, his grass was looking good, and I noticed something here that was going to make a great video. So it's super hot outside, it's about 100 degrees right now, and what we're seeing here is hot spots in the yard. So you can see some brown areas in the yard. Now sometimes these are disease or sometimes there's an irrigation issue or whatever, but what we're seeing mainly in this yard is hot spots. So if you're it's in central Texas, uh, we don't have really good soil. Now you go, you go east of I-35, there can be really good soil over there and some other areas, low-lying areas. But generally speaking in central Texas, we have really poor soil and there's a big thick, <laughs> unhealthy layer of limestone under most of this topsoil that the home builders put down. So sometimes that'll create these hot spots where that limestone layer is a much closer to the surface of the ground instead of instead of having multiple inches of, of dirt on top of it. And, um, and so that creates hot spots in this heat and they become very obvious sometimes. One of the ways to determine if you have a hot spot is take like a Phillips head screwdriver and push it down into the soil. If you hit rock pretty quickly then you know that, that that's most likely a hot spot or you know for sure that you have really thin soil. So uh, something to look for in your yard. Um, there's a couple of ways to combat that. One is one obviously water and water deeply but if you have real thin soil it's problematic anyways. So uh, what I would do is wait to get a little bit cooler in the year and then come back and start putting down some top soil of some sandy loam and start building up the, the layer of soil. Um, but if it's really, really bad, you may have to strip the whole area, come back with, a, with, with three, four, five, six inches of soil, and then come back and re it on top of that. But that's something that we can help you with if you need uh, the help with that. Um, but anyways, I thought this would be a great time to do two things. One, talk to you about the hot spots in the yard, and two, show off my new sunglasses. Pretty cool, huh? They're green, like the grass should be right now, and it's not always because of hot spots. So anyways, hope you're surviving this heat. If you have any questions, call the office. Uh, if not, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.